Okay, so, new unboxing today. Um, now this, I'm just gonna start by saying this is a mask that most everyone doesn't see very much. Um, now, this one I think because is because at the time this mask was released, it cost the equivalent of six hundred and seventy-five to sixteen dollars. It was made by a San Franciscan company. Now, some of you U.S. experts might might be starting to know what mask I'm talking about. This mask in particular is an industrial mask, and um, I don't know exactly its usage. I do believe it was a general use mask, or so I've heard. It appeared in um, a film. Uh, I don't know exactly what the film was called, but there is a shot of this mask in a film where I, I believe the protagonist of the film is wearing it, or somebody in the film is wearing it, and is carrying a revolver. So here you see the top of the box. And, uh, voila, here you see, this is the mask, the Bullard gas mask. And this isn't just any Bullard. Previously, the gas mask collecting community has seen from JJ and Nick Sherman and now in Jojo Ui's possession, a variant of the Bullard with a plastic exhale valve. But I suspect that this version of the mask is in fact uh, truly the version that came after a merger between Bullard, the Bullard company, and Davis, because it is not the design of the filter that is in the original patent. On the other hand, oh, came undone. Here, you can see the mask has a metal valve guard. So, this is a weird looking mask. The lenses are very, very far apart. Now this is, I mean, this, this mask is in stellar condition, as you can see. I'm going to be rather careful, actually. But the lenses are very part of, far apart. They are triangular, uh, which is rather unusual for a mask. Okay, sorry, cutting the video because the card was full. So, uh, the filter itself looks a lot like a corrected English model filter. American uh, version of the small box respirator. Uh, top says Bullard USA. Now, I'm gonna take a little risk. These laces feel quite strong still. And try to take this filter out of its sleeve. I don't think it should be fine. It looks like it. Um, now, I don't want to damage the label on the. On the filter itself, so let's be careful here, but for the historical value, I'd like to see at least what is printed on this filter. There. Should be fairly less, reasonably less height. Okay. Okay. So, so far I can read Organic Vapors, Bullard. So let's remember, this is a model made by Bullard, just Bullard, not any other company, as it does appear that Bullard was later absorbed or merged with Davis. Um, as I said, San Franciscan company. They, the box says that they call themselves everything in safety. So let's see. Yeah, that's the, just the canvas is a bit old, so it makes a bit of a cracking sound, but it is fine. Okay. Okay, so the filter's out, it's a bit rusty, very rusty. It says uh, everything in safety, Bullard, the logo, for use only in organic vapors. E.D. Bullard Company, San Francisco, 275H3. So there it is. I don't have much more to say about this mask. Um, I guess I'm going to give the camera a nice look at the face piece. <sighs> Filter. And yeah. So that's it, folks. 
I will make more pictures of this mask too soon. Maybe not on a head though, considering the condition.